you should be able to hear me now. Let me just double check on my own thing as well. Can you guys hear me now? Hello. It's working. It is? It's working. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have no idea why that happened. But I just reloaded the entire streaming software and it seems to be working now. I didn't change anything. I just closed it and opened it again. <laughs> well, good to see you guys. Good to see you guys here. Okay, let me just... Um, Post on my Discord server that I'm streaming because I have a Discord server now. I have a bot that's supposed to do it, but it's not been doing that, so I'm gonna do that manually. Streaming on Twitch. Live knotting a, a war. No, what, what did I call it? A kitty wall hanging. Uh, and then the link to my Twitch. Right? That makes sense. De -de 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 -de. Yeah, so we're going to be knotting today. Oh. I've got to tag everyone. Uh, we're going to be knotting today. Can you turn up the brightness a little? Is it a bit too... Okay. Um, I'm starting another wall hanging. I'm getting in the mood of making wall hangings. So... Uh, oh, I, sh I forgot to put the pattern number in the description. I'm sorry. Um, let me find it. Mm, to do's. It. Where is it? <laughs> it's 37822. Yes, it's 37822. Exactly that. Um, all right. <laughs> Someone asked me to make it brighter, and I completely forgot how to edit these things. Configure. Oh, there we go. They make it a little bit brighter. Is it not bright enough? Uh, oh, that's too bright. Way too bright. Oh, how do I get it back down? Is this okay? I think this is okay. Hi, Masha. Do you know a good way to replace bass strings in an alpha? I've never really done it, but I've heard that people just sort of tape them at the back and then just start nodding on them and that works, but I'm not sure. Uh, what brand of wooden dowels did you get? I have no idea. I ordered them from Amazon. That's the only one that had this one 100 pieces of wooden dowels hns i have no idea what this means but this is how they came in a box full of a bunch of them what is a tamagotchi i mean i'm glad you asked gives me an excuse to talk about her <laughs> oh and someone redeemed feeding you a snack all right let me show you guys this is my little baby tamagotchi um it's a little game that was popular in the 90s and the 2000s i had it uh as a kid i had mine in like 2009 so i was kind of late to the party but um Still, I had one, but mine broke, so I ordered a new one off eBay. And um, yeah, this is a little virtual pet. This is her name is Iggy. She's a little girl. Look how cute! Look how cute she is! Oh my goodness! And I attached a little uh, keychain to her with uh, a clover, and someone redeemed us feed Iggy a snack. So let's do that. I mean, sorry, there's a bit of a glare because of my lights, but let's feed her a snack. So we're gonna go into this one, and then a snack. I think there's only four right now. I don't think I have any extra ones. Oh no, I have this. Oh, I have more. Oh, oh, I thought there was only four and there's seven. All right, let's feed her a piece of cake for now. Look at that. Yeah. So I added some new uh, rewards for the points if you guys want to use them. But let me uh, show you guys. I was born in 2009. Thanks for making me feel very old. <laughs> um, let me show you. She. Oh, she's hungry. Let's actually feed her properly, not just a snack. I'm going to give you some sushi. Um, I want to show you... Oh, someone else redeemed feed Iggy a snack. Oh, she's going to get so fat with you guys. They actually have a weight uh, as well. I'm going to give her a tangerine. I think that's a tangerine. It might be a cookie, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure. Um... But yeah, you can go here. The, here are the stats. Hungry and happy. She's not hungry and not happy uh, and very happy. I've got her training nearly full, even though she's just a teenager. She's not even an adult yet. I've got some points here for her. I'm not sure. I think this is the funny um, and this is the beauty and spirituality, but I'm not actually sure. Um, she's one year old. She weighs three pounds. Her name is Iggy. Uh, she's a girl. She's first generation. She's got this many points. And this is uh, my username. Uh, I've got a couple of items as well for her that she's not able to use. We've got an umbrella, roller skates, a guitar, and makeup. Uh, but she's not able to use them yet because she's 
just a kid, but she's super cute. I like her a lot. Uh, I'm so glad that I um, that I got this. Oh my god, three people have redeemed a feeding you a snack. I'm gonna feed her another snack. But this is good because then I can, I'm gonna give her a um, pineapple. This is good because then I can play with her afterwards. But yeah, I'm very. This was a very random purchase of mine, but I can honestly say this is the best purchase of 2020. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I got it secondhand. Uh, I didn't pay that much for it. I only paid uh, 30 pounds for it, which is a lot. I mean, they originally sold sold for much less, uh, so I did overpay in that sense. But um, I was looking at eBay on the different auctions, and now there's like all the other ones that I'm finding are selling for like 70 pounds and up. So I got it for relatively cheap, but I'm very very happy. Yeah, very very happy. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get into knotting this pattern now. Let me get it up on my screen. Actually, I forgot to put it up. Uh, where is it? Here it is. And I'm gonna make it smaller so I can actually see the chat properly. There we go. So the way I um, the way I like to knot my bracelets and especially these like wool hangings that have a ton of different strings. Is it too bright now? I think. I, I don't know. I think it's fine, maybe. The way I like to knot it is I like to count my strings before I actually make the row. So I pre-counted these strings. These are three strings I need to make black knots onto and the rest are just background rows. Um, so I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm using a multicolored string here. This is a multicolored uh, uh, Gantex that I talked about in my string haul video if you want a more in-depth sort of look at the strings that I got. This is one of them. Uh, I got it in Russia. And um, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this multicolored string, to be honest. I thought I would like it more than I actually did, I think. I'm pretty sure. But what do you guys think? What, what do you guys think of this color? I'm not sure how I feel. But I had a lot of fun um, filming that video for this one. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I did a video, I posted it yesterday, about how I knotted this wall hanging. First of all, I had a lot of time making this uh, wall hanging. But uh, I'm having a lot of time, I had a lot of time, f a, lot of, a lot of time, a lot of fun filming it as well. Um, and I'm very much enjoy, after I'm done filming a uh, Not With Me, I very much enjoy looking back at the time lapse. Especially at like at the very, very fast one. The 10 minute one, I usually do like a 10 minute time lapse first. The 10 minute one is fun because I can get to talk over it and uh, it's sort of more in depth. You can see more in depth of what I'm doing. But uh, the super fast one at the end, that's just my absolute favorite because it looks so satisfying. How many base strings is this? The original pattern has 39 base strings, but I modified it to have 31, uh, 41 because I wanted to add uh, a string for the sides. Because the if you look at the pattern itself, which is 37822, um, you can see that the cat, like the like the actual animal goes to the very edge strings and I don't want that. I want that to be a buffer string on each side. So I added another uh, string to each side, which is more knots that I need to make. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> I'm knotting the winter snow house that you made a year ago. Oh, that's so awesome. That's a really fun pattern actually. I'm planning on remaking that because uh, last year's <laughs> snow house was a complete disaster. I did not like how it turned out. <clears throat> so I'm planning on remaking that pattern for this year and maybe doing a not with me video for it as well and uh, I just saw I found a couple of like um bigger alpha patterns as well for the sort of winter period that it oh what do you want oh, she's crying okay I'm taking care of my child here I'm sorry this is she's going to be interrupting the stream but I will be taking care of my child she's requesting attention let's check She's completely hungry, uh, not hungry, and completely happy. So her request for attention is a temper tantrum. So we're going to time out, and she's gonna cry about it. But that actually gives her training points because I need to tell her off when she requests attention for no reason. And there you go. See, she added another training point. So I'm basically nearly full, fully trained her, and I'm very happy about that. That's awesome because that uh, when they age up, she's a teenager now. But when they age up, uh, you can also send them to jobs and such uh, and the more training you have the better qualifications you have to get a job as well as points but yeah what was what was i talking about before then <laughs> oh uh chris uh ugh, chris knots too much has cheered 100 bits thank you so much i really appreciate it uh are you gonna make a wall hanging wall in your new apartment oh if only i could uh actually hang stuff to the wall um probably not probably not um i might buy like a cork board or something and then maybe attach it to that, but 
I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm so excited to move though, I cannot tell you how excited I am to move. The new flat that we're moving into is so much bigger than the one we have now, and we're gonna have so much extra space. The bedroom that I'm moving into is gonna be much bigger, which is just awesome because I'm so tired of tripping over my bed every single time, every single time I get up to go to the bathroom um, from my table. Um, but it also has, I, I'm gonna have my separate bathroom and the lounge slash kitchen area is huge so I'm very excited but whew, another month basically there's someone currently living there um, and we'll need to wait for that guy to move out uh, when his lease expires so we can move in and that's going to be in another month from now basically pretty much exactly uh, how's the search going we found we found a flat yeah we're just waiting for everything to work out I know it's almost winter, but I'm nodding a cactus wall hanging. Oh, that's awesome. Those never go out of style. Winter, summer, I don't care. They're really cool. Uh, what pattern number is it? It's 37822. That's what I'm making. I should have added it in the stream title. I apologize for that. Um, I will add it in the <laughs> description of the YouTube video once this is posted to YouTube. Which, by the way, my Masha Streams channel, in which I re-upload my Twitch streams, finally got monetized yesterday and I earned a proud dollar <laughs> from yesterday at one single dollar and I'm very happy about that <laughs> um, did Thomas finish Gravity Falls? Thomas finished Gravity Falls in like one day um, maybe two potentially he liked it <laughs> have you checked your PO box? do you know what? the PO box I haven't in a while short answer but long answer the PO box changed their work schedule the opening times and they are basically open for like two hours a day um and that is from 8 a.m to 10 a.m and i'm usually asleep from 8 a.m to 10 a.m um and plus they only work like five or six days of five four or five days a week i don't remember but yeah they're basically open for like only uh eight or ten hours a week so I barely ever make it there. I need to actually do that because I haven't been to my uh, PO box for a while and I need to check my mail, to be honest. Uh... Oh my god. I think I... I'm gonna need to get my ruler to make sure that these are going correctly. Where is my... Um... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, how are Stefan and the kitties doing? The picture you posted on your Insta story was so cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, they're doing well. They're doing well. Um, hopefully, they're both going to be with me next year. I'm hoping that 2021 is going to be my year, honestly. And for everyone's sake, I hope 2021 is better than 2020. Um, but yeah, we Skype a lot, like basically every single day. And the cats like to watch me. And it's so cute. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be it's going to be good. Oh, someone said, I've been forced to recover from my eating disorder because it got to a point where it was super dangerous and now I'm feeling super sad and insecure and eating is really hard. Do you have any tips uh, for feeling less down all the time? Um, first of all, I'm really, really sorry to hear that you're going through something so difficult. Um, I'm not sure that I can really say anything that would be of help because I've never really experienced that and I don't know if I'm the person that should be giving any advice. But in terms of um, eating and that being difficult, I actually stumbled upon a TikTok video recently where this was like a, uh, a girl who is just like sitting in front of a camera and is eating with you. And she goes very slowly and she's like, oh, um, is that the girl, Sienna May? I don't know. Um, but she's like, oh, let's, let's take first bite together. And like she sits down and eats with you. I don't know if that is a good thing to do but from based on like the comments and everything it seemed to have helped a lot of people so maybe something like that can help you with it i'm, I'm really not sure i'm not the best person to ask but um i hope i hope you get better uh people are commenting to watch cnma's video she has eating help videos that i think that's who i was talking about or something like that um but either way i genuinely wish you all the best um and to get better. Uh, I can't stream on my iPad so I've reverted to watching on my phone. Well, welcome, welcome either way. How long are you gonna be live for? My streams are usually anywhere from like an hour to two and a half. Um, we're probably gonna go for like two hours today, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't have any plans to be honest. I don't usually plan this out. It's just whatever happens. 
until I get tired. <laughs> I get tired of talking uh, for a long time. Let me just cut some string. Yeah. Uh, hi, Marshall. Last stream you told me to send you a message, and I did, but you never responded. Oh, I'm sorry. I checked a lot of my messages. I'll uh, check again after this stream. Sorry about that. I try to respond to my messages, but I don't always get the chance to respond to all of them. Let me tape some more string down. Do you know what? I recently started watching The Office. I know, I'm very late to the party. I never watched it before, but I started watching it recently and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. When are you going to follow people? I followed everyone already from the previous streams and I have since removed the options for it. So you should have received your follow already. Uh, DM me if you haven't. Um, how many rows until we are starting the design? We're starting it right now. I just need to tape this string down, which is a mess. What was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. I My brain does not remember what I mean and what I say. But let's attach this. Oh my god, it's a bit of a mess. Ooh, 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 careful. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this. The one thing about wall hangings is like it's very difficult to attach the strings for the first couple of rows. It's a mess. Sorry, let me, let me mute my phone because I'm getting notifications. There we go. I think I did it correctly. All right, so we're getting into the ear now. All right. Oh, I should have attached all the other colors as well, to be honest. I needed the white and the uh, pink, but whatever. We're going to do that in a bit. Wait, what did I... I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I'm talking so much, I forgot how to not. Like, I'm focusing so much on <laughs> reading the chat and talking that I completely disregarded what I'm doing here. But let's... Uh... Let's read. I started the watch watching The Office today. Oh, awesome. What episode of The Office are you on? It's like my favorite show. I just started season four. I think I'm on episode three or four, something like that. Uh, I made a keychain with white with a pumpkin on its head. <laughs> That's perfect. I, uh, I tried watching The Office before. I think I watched like an episode or two. I never got into it. And then um, I just finished watching House. Um, and I felt like I needed something new to watch and something sort of light light-hearted and not too heavy and uh, I decided to give it another go because it's on um, Amazon Prime so I gave it another go and now it's one of my favorite shows I am genuinely laughing so much over it it's great <laughs> I'm currently making a candy stripe for one of my pen pals oh that's awesome oh do you know what did I tell you guys about the secret Santa I don't think I did there's a secret Santa happening we discussed it um, last stream that I really want to participate in the Secret Santa, but I don't want to host one. And uh, some, well, two of you guys, I think, um, decided to make one, and you guys reached out to me. So I'm participating in a Secret Santa. Uh, if you are on my Discord server, uh, which you should be, it's a fun place to be, there is a link in the announcements uh, tab of it, because I, I announced it on my Discord server. Uh, there is a link in the announcement tabs. I'm also going to announce it on my... Um, Instagram story probably later today because I, I keep forgetting to do that I need to do that but if you want a direct link right now it's in the announcements tab of my discord server and if you want to take part in that you need to sign up before December 1st and send your bracelet in I think before December 15th something like that so go do it I'm sending um I signed up to be a secret Santa for three separate people so three separate people might be the recipient of my secret Santa. <laughs> so definitely, definitely check it out. Uh, do you like Avatar The Last Airbender? Absolutely. I watched that as a kid. Uh, I loved it. It was one of my favorite shows. And it probably still is one of my favorite shows of all time. It's uh, an amazing show. I rewatched it over the summer. It was great. Uh, I really don't know how you do alpha so neat and straight. Like I do, uh, like I do everything but mine is still bumpy and wonky. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It took me so long to finally get my alphas to a place where I like them uh, so definitely don't give up it I only, like genuinely I only very very recently uh, became happy with my alphas because I always had the problem of it being too bumpy or too 
the edges not being straight or whatever. Uh, I found that loosening up my knots has actually helped. The flat alpha technique has helped for sure. And then what I'm going to show you now, uh, I discussed it in my um, uh, previous uh, not move me video. Uh, but like we're going to get into the cat now. And there's going to be two separate strings for the background, one on the left and one on the right. So the string for the background doesn't have to cross the design all the time. I found that that helps as well. Uh, so those are my tips, but also don't give up. I started watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, that's an awesome show as well. I don't think I finished it, but I watched a lot of it. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you have any Christmas bracelet patterns that I should make? I need help finding a pattern. I don't have any uh, on my mind right now, but I added a couple to my to-dos. You feel free to raid my to-dos if you want to. I'm raccoon on bracelet book. Uh, how do I find your Discord server? I linked it uh, under my most recent video. I need to update all my other video descriptions and link it there as well. It's also as a community post on YouTube. Um, other than that, potentially maybe someone will send a invite to the chat if someone feels like it. Uh, I was AFK, what are we talking about? I have no idea when you came back and what we were talking about. I've already forgotten, to be honest. <laughs> uh, would you rather have... Uh, the Invisibility Cloak or a Lifetime Supply of Felix, Felix Felices. Ooh, not sure, not sure. What would I use the Invisibility Cloak for? I feel like uh, anything I could use it for would be an invasion of someone's privacy or illegal. Or both. <laughs> I'm too nice of a person to invade people's privacy like that. So probably Felix Felice, Felix Felice. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but you understand what I mean. I hope. <laughs> Have you ever watched Star Wars? I did watch some of them. I never got into it, I'm sorry. I must say, I do apologize. Mm. Oh, Car uh, Carol Lily Z. <laughs> uh, thank you for the bits. Uh, hello, I've been watching your videos for a while, but I've never actually made a bracelet. Should I try? Definitely you should try and you should start with uh, probably the chevron. I think that's the easiest and best bracelet to start off on Definitely try it's a really fun hobby and it occupies your hands for Whenever you need your hands occupied like I can't watch a TV show or anything without making a bracelet now Because I always need to do something. Oh my god. <laughs> I always need to do something with my hands Oh two people sent the discord server link. Thank you very much. That is the discord server link. Uh, you should do a link tree so that all of your accounts are in one place. I need to do that, yeah. I was actually thinking about doing that. I definitely need to. <laughs> mm. Alright, I need to add more strings. I need a white string and I need another background string. Do you know what I'm worried about though? This background string, like it's a multicolored one, but the color change in it is very, very slow. You can kind of see as well, like even with this whole entire row, which is like 40 strings, there's only a bit of a color change. And I'm scared that now that we're going to go into the design, there's going to be less of the actual color, especially if I do two separate strings for each side. And there's going to be basically no color change. But we will see. Oh, someone redeemed Feed Iggy. I forgot to do that. I apologize. Let's feed Iggy. For those of you just joining, this is my Tamagotchi. Her name is Iggy and she's great. And we're gonna feed her whatever this is. I have no idea what that is. But she's very happy and she thanks you greatly. <laughs> Look at her, she's so cute! Apparently uh, the way that they evolve as well is somehow connected to like the training and the points that they get. Uh, I never knew that as a kid. I always thought that the um, evolving was random but apparently it's connected to how like if you have any care mistakes if you take care of them poorly uh, then they evolve into one type of tama uh, if you take care of them well they evolve into a different type and then it also depends on genetics like you can see the uh, iggy is uh, first generation so she doesn't have any parents but if she were to have parents then their um, genetics would influence what she would evolve into as a kid i always thought it was random but it is not I need to now look up uh, the characteristics of the ones that I usually had to see if I made care mistakes or whatever. What color will the cat be? Probably white, uh, as it is in the as it is in the thing. Uh, thank you for all of your tutorials. Sorry, I'm missing the highlighted messages. Thank you for all your tutorials and overall positivity. I was uh, I work in the operating room. Wow, and my days are constantly stressful. I love going home to watch your new videos and working on my current projects. It's my oh. It's my favorite thing to. It's 
my favorite way to relax that is awesome wow thank you for your work as well you're doing so <laughs> so much good uh, this is awesome to hear i love to hear how you guys how my videos play a role in your guys's life um that's really cool thank you I posted a diary about me making. Uh, I posted a TikTok about me making Derek, and I tagged you, but you never saw it. I would appreciate it if you could check it out. Uh, P.S. I love you. Oh, thank you. I will check it out after the stream. Thank you. Uh, let me just push this up a little bit because I think it's. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Masha, I just wanted to say that you are literally my favorite YouTuber ever. <laughs> you have made a huge impact on my life and made me get into bracelets in the first place, and I wouldn't know what to do without you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Thank you. The first stream I've been able to attend. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. Are you reading any books right now? I haven't read a book in a while. I'm kind of in a reading slump. I don't know why. Uh, even though I'm really, really enjoying what I'm reading, I just don't feel the desire to read anymore. For, I mean, I go through phases. I mean, it comes and goes in waves. But the books that I am currently in the middle of is um, Harry Potter, the fourth one, uh, and um, The Order of the Phoenix. No, Goblet of Fire. Why did I say Phoenix? Oh the next one uh goblet of fire and i'm also in the middle of hank green's new book um i forgot what it was called what is it called uh, ooh, a beautifully foolish endeavor in the middle of that one as well it's a cat pattern right yes it's three seven eight two two. Oh, people are putting it in the chat thanks uh wave stxrm i have no idea how to <laughs> pronounce that thank you for the bits i appreciate it um, do you ever get back pain while- okay, now that you said that, I'm actually gonna stretch my back a little bit. <laughs> do you ever get back pain while knotting? Uh, if so, how do you help prevent it? I, have, I feel like I have terrible posture when I knot, I always get back and neck pain after going for long sessions. Do you know what? Usually I don't. Um, I think- I, I don't know why, but usually I don't. I do, however, when I'm streaming, for whatever reason. I don't know why, because I sit down and I knot for the same amount of time off camera. But for some reason, whenever I'm streaming, I do get back pain. And I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do about it. Um, you could set up a chat like Nightbot so people can type a command for links. I'm planning on doing that. I'm planning on doing an overhaul of my entire stream, to be honest. Like, the setup that I have now is just the basic sort of... You can see the chat over there. You can see the little bits thing over here. Um, and then the notifications go there if I have any notifications, which I don't think are actually working properly, but whatever. Um... I'm planning on changing the entire thing and working on my stream a little bit more for the future. So yeah. Uh, it's a cat pattern. Yes, it is. Goblet of Fire is my favorite. I'm not sure what my favorite is. Uh, my favorite used to be Prisoner of Azkaban, but um, maybe it's gonna change. Maybe it's gonna change. There's a wall singing, uh, wall singing, wall hanging, sitting right next to me, and I want to know. I want to know it so bad, but I need to fin- <laughs> I want to knot it, probably, so bad, but I need to finish this collab bracelet tomorrow, so. <laughs> Alright, well, good luck, good luck. Hank Green's new book is amazing, you have to finish it. I know, I know, I'm really into it, I quite enjoy it. I only really started it, I'm only, like, several chapters in. I don't think I even did a quarter of the book yet, but I, for some reason, I'm just not in the mood to read right now. And I really don't know. Mmm. Oh, let me push this up. Push this up. There we go. Okay, we need to go into black and then white, but let me read this first. How do you read two books at once? I can't do it. Well, one of them is a reread, and then another one is a new read. Um, so, I, whatever one I'm feeling in the mood for reading, I just pick it up and I read it. <laughs> it's the same as um, bracelets, really. Like, I make multiple bracelets at the same time, and whichever one I'm currently in the mood for, I just pick it up and I go. I'm a very sort of mood person. If I'm in the mood for something, I just do it. Alright, I need white and I need pink. I actually haven't picked out the pink that I want to use, which was probably stupid. I should have done that before the stream. But since you guys are here with me... Oh, do you know what? I like this one. This is going to be the ears and the little beans for the paws. Yeah, this one works. And then I need a white. Do I have a white? I do. I have a white here. I also have a white here. That's relatively long. I might just use this one. Recycle some string. Alright, I need a white. I don't think I need that much of the pink. 
to be honest, because I'm only going to do it for this little piece of the ear. And then I'm going to switch to a different piece of it once I need it again. So let's cut it here. Uh, would, you would you rather live in the US or live in Russia? I mean, I'd rather <laughs> live in the UK. But if the choice is between the US and Russia, I'd live in Russia. Because why would I live in... Why would I move to a completely different foreign country that I've never lived in before if I can just move to the country that I have lived in before and that I like? I like Russia. I There's nothing against Russia. That's not why I moved. Um, I quite enjoy living in Russia, actually. I spent basically a month there just now and I had a great time. But uh, I just prefer living in the UK more. Uh, so yeah. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Alright, let me add this back. There we go. Mm. There we go. All right, let me, um, maybe for the next challenge, it should be to make a wall hanging. Ooh, I like that. I like that idea. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, I've sort of gotten into it now that I got the, um, oh, I should have added another one for the background. Oh, well. Uh, now that I got the wooden dowels, I'm very much into these wall hangings. So potentially, potentially. Where are the strings? I need three white knots and then another black knot. And these are coming undone and that's annoying. I, where did I, why did I take the pink? I need the white! Oh my god! Three, white, and then black. Uh, my chair leaned a little bit <laughs> too far back and my life flashed before my eyes. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Mm. My dad used to read me uh, Harry Potter when I was little. It had some shocking turns and it was kind of terrifying to see where he was going with it. The Hank Green book? Yeah, I mean the first one as well had some pretty shocking turns. I mean, I kind of knew what it was about going into it um, because I had heard him talk about it b before I read it. But, um, wow. <laughs> first of all, I didn't expect Hank to be such a good writer. Like, I knew him as uh, from the Vlogbrothers and, um, like... <laughs> I just I I didn't I didn't expect it. He's a really good writer, and I'm very pleasantly surprised. It's very enjoyable. I very much recommend. I'm reading Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, and it's so good. I actually have that book signed. I had a signed I have a signed copy of that book, and I love it a lot. It's a great book. Um, it's kind of I don't know. I it's great. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's a bit heavy, but it's great. And it speaks to his experience, which is something I value a lot when people talk about their experiences like that. Uh, what time is it in London? It's 9.15pm. Uh, I'm not going to sleep anytime soon, so it's fine. <laughs> what pattern is this? 37822. Uh, you should totally release some sort of merch when you reach a milestone, because I would buy it. I was planning on releasing merch for 100k, but that never happened. Um... I I'm, I'm, might be working on some stuff. Might be working on some stuff. <laughs> Hello, I just joined. Welcome! Do you have any tips on getting out of a bracelet slump? Well, I just got out of one myself. Uh, I literally just did. Um, probably don't do what I did. I made a wall hanging and that was my way out of a bracelet slump, which is probably not the best option because it's a huge project and if you're in a bracelet slump, you might just not want to do it at all. Um, I would recommend making something you know you enjoy, like a pattern you've made before and that you know you enjoy. Try different colours, maybe buy some new string um, that you like, maybe some special string like a metallic or a sparkly or multicoloured or whatever, and try making a pattern that you know you enjoyed uh, when you made it the first time, so potentially that. Mm, how do you motivate yourself to knot on those days that you don't feel like it? If I don't feel like it, I don't knot. That's as simple as that. I mean, I was talking about the bracelet slump earlier. I was kind of in one uh, and I just made the wall hanging to get out of that. But it, in other cases, if I'm just not feeling it that day, I just don't do it. <laughs> I do something else. Uh... Oh my god, that book is so good. It's my favorite book. Awesome! Have you ever tried crochet or knitting? Uh, I've tried it before. I It's not really my thing. I'm not super good at it, but I've attempted it before. <laughs> Mm, I haven't enjoyed it enough to actually do it again, but I did attempt it. Alright, let me 
push this up. The white string is kind of popping through and I don't like that. I'm gonna pull it down a bit. Mm. I feel like it's already going in a bit of a wave. And I don't like that. Maybe if I push it up here a bit. There we go. It's a bit better. Mm, I just found out that my mum that my mum has some wooden dowels that she isn't using, so I'm making my first wall hanging. Good luck, and I hope you have fun. How many strings is that wall hanging? It is 41 strings wide. The pattern is 39, but I modified it to be 41 because I wanted extra strings for the sides. I'm reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and it's so good. I think I have that book. Do I? Or do I not? No, I don't. But someone recommended it to me before, so I thought about getting it. Uh, is it a good book? Should I, should I do it? Did you start your cross stitch project? Not yet, but I'm planning on doing it um, relatively soon because it's sort of a Christmassy one and I need to, well Christmas is in a month, I need to get started on it to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Masha, I will never use a hundred dowels. Masha, in January, I'm addicted to wool hangings and I just bought a new pack of dowels. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna make a hundred. There's no way. They, I mean, they take way too much time to be able to actually make a hundred of them. So, probably not. Alright, I need to replace this string. I need to replace this string. And also, I need to check on Iggy. Are you alright? Are you happy? Yes, she's still happy and not hungry, so that's good. Right, I need one string for the left bit and one string for the right bit. I'm probably gonna just attach both straight away. Just so it's easier. There we go. So the one for this side. Yeah, I should probably go with this. Oh my god, I, I really don't like messing with like adding strings and messing with the backs of alphas it's always such a hassle it's always so messy i don't like it but i've got to do it all right this goes there and where's the second one this one i might as well just untie this as well whatever it's fine it's fine i'll tie it back and this one goes here. There we go. I hate this, honestly. People ask me what my least favorite part of making bracelets is. It is attaching strings to the backs of alphas, cutting strings at the beginning of the bracelet, or in my case, the wall hanging or whatever. I hate doing that, that takes forever and it's usually a mess. And then doing starts, like whenever I do triangle ends or a teardrop loop or whatever, I usually get the <laughs> color order wrong and then I have to retie the entire thing. For this one, for example, right, I did, um, I keep saying 41, it's not 41, it's 47. <laughs> See, even that, I keep getting that wrong. It's 47 and I was going to tell you the story of how I got it wrong. The pattern on bracelet book says 39 by 45. I decided I'm going to add two more strings to that because I want extra strings on the sides. Uh, so I decided, okay, I'm going to do 41 and that number stuck in my head with me. But the thing is, 41 is not the number of um, base strings. 41 is the number of rows and I got them mixed up. And so I did 41 base strings. And then I started making the bracelet and I realized that, oh, I miscounted. Something is completely wrong. Um, so yeah, I had to untie the entire thing. And that was that was not fun. And I kept telling you guys that it was 41. It's not, it's 47. 47, so nearly 50. I mean, I hope it is. At least I think I counted it correctly this time. <laughs> oh, someone redeemed feed Iggy a snack. Let's go do that. This is Iggy. She's not hungry. She's not happy. Let me check what her weight is. Five pounds. How fat are you guys going to make her? Let's check. <laughs> oh no, she got a toothache! I've been feeding her too many snacks, you guys need to stop. She got a toothache, let's fix her. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate you guys, but oh my god. Oh no! My poor baby! <laughs> I forgot that could happen, <laughs> honestly. Let's check how uh, much weight she's gained. Oh, she weighed, uh, she gained a whole pound. She's now six pounds. My little 
cutie. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they have weights in this game. I think, um, I have actually, I don't know. I have no idea why. I was gonna say that it affects your job potentially, but why would it affect your job? That's such a random thing to affect your job. I have no idea why there is a weight in this game, but you uh, gain weight by eating uh, and you lose weight by playing games and such. All right, I need to replace this string. There we go, oh my god, it's so long, I think I made it a bit too long. Uh, you need to read the Dream Walker books by Matthew T. Summers. I like them so much, so much I got the second one a day after it was published. I will check it out. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion. My uh, to, to, to be read list is a bit uh, long, but I will check it out whenever I'm looking for some more books to read. Mm, for people who want to make wall hangings but don't have dowels, I 100% recommend using skewers. You can get them pretty cheap at any grocery store and they work just as well as dowels. Uh, the only thing is that you need to cut the end off, but other than that, they work really well. Oh, thank you for the tip. There you go. Mm, there you go. I don't know if you're a huge fan of YA books. Oh, there we go. Uh, but the one series I love a lot and people talk about is called Selection Series. And I absolutely love it. It may be an ex it may be excessive, but I read it about ten times. I was very into YA at one point, um, but I've been recently sort of trying to move away from it. But nonetheless, I will check it out. I will check it out. Uh, Masha, what Camry do you have? It was, I want a good quality one for Christmas and yours looks perfect. Well, thank you. I have a Canon 200D. I don't know if I would recommend that specific one. There's a lot of different cameras that you can buy within the same uh, price range. I mean, it's a good camera, don't get me wrong. It is a great camera, um, but don't just take my word for it. I'm pretty sure there are newer models out there for the same sort of price range because I got mine a few years ago and at that point it wasn't uh, even new so potentially maybe look for some newer ones if you want to but this is a good camera it's a very good starter camera uh, I'm currently knotting this pattern is 168 strings wide and 200 rows <laughs> I'm dying I'm currently about 43 rows in I love knotting with you on stream it really motivates me to uh motivates me a lot to keep going and keep working on my project oh that's awesome i wonder how many of us are knotting at the same time <laughs> I, I need to check that pattern out what is that um uh, let me actually find it right now i'm curious what pattern is so big mm, pattern number six one four eight seven it's loading oh it's not in my to do that's why it didn't come up uh, 61487. I was accidentally searching my to-dos instead of everything. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's this one. Oh, that's cute. It's super Supernatural and Scooby-Doo together. They look very cute. Well, good luck with it. I hope it goes well for you. Um, there we go. I use the wooden craft sticks from Michaels and Dollar Tree. I find that they're perfect. I find that they're the perfect length for a wall hanging. What? That's another option. I'm making my Among Us pattern. Yeah, I really need to start. Um, my mum texted me the other day when she saw that I made the mushroom house thing. And she's like, oh, why are you still making autumnal bracelets? It's winter now. And I'm like, well, it might be winter for you in Russia. It's not winter for me yet until December hits. <laughs> it's already like there's snow in Moscow and everything. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be my last autumnal uh, bracelet and then after that I'm heading into my Christmas sort of um, themed stuff. I'm not really in the Christmas mood this year though. I don't know. I mean I guess it's because 2020. <laughs> 2020 is one year to live in. But uh, yeah I'm gonna do the cross stitch definitely because it's uh, I mean hopefully it goes well. I don't know it looks very fun. It's a really cute pattern. I hope it goes well for me. Um, and then I don't just make a complete fool out of myself, but I do have some other videos planned for December. I have some tutorials planned that I need to film. I've just kind of, I've kind of been slacking on tutorials recently. I need to do that. If you have any videos to recommend as well, that'd be good. I, um, look through my recommendations on the server, on the Discord server, which you should join if you want to. <laughs> uh, and you guys put some really nice video suggestions in there as well, so... Potentially, potentially, we'll do some of those. How do you start a wall hanging with an odd number of strings? Um, 
I don't know actually, I've never had that happen to me. I've only ever done this one and two others, and they all had an even number of strings. I mean, you need an odd number of bass strings plus one leading string, which makes an even number of strings. Um, I don't know, maybe just remove one string, like tie them all to uh, tie everything on and then just get rid of one. I'm really, I don't know. <laughs> That's potentially something you could do. Mm. Masha, you motivated me to make you mo ah, that. <laughs> you motivated me to make my alpha knots less tight, and my alphas are really looking so much better. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, I found that, honestly, honestly, that is the one thing that genuinely helped me so much. Uh, letting go of my knot tension because my uh, knots were very, very tight before has is probably the thing that has improved my alphas the most. So I definitely recommend doing that. I love cross stitching on a plastic canvas. Awesome. I've never tried any cross stitching, so I don't know what the difference really is, but uh, cool. <laughs> uh, there we go. I've been working on a 43 string wide wall hanging and it's very time consuming. Uh, I've been in a bracelet slump below, so I haven't worked on it in a while. Oh, you should! You should. Wall hangings are really fun. I'm much more fun than I expected them to be, to be honest. I think it's the fact that it starts with such a nice, clean straight line that is just very appealing to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, to start with an odd number of strings, you lock locks heads not with the leading string. That's how I do it, yeah. But then what if you have an even number of bass strings but you still need to add a leading string? How do you do it then? I think you just get rid of one. Like just pull it at the back and then just, I don't know, cut it off or something. Once you've made a couple of rows, not straight away. Would you rather meet your followers or your favorite celebrity? I don't have a favorite celebrity, I don't think. Uh, so definitely meet my followers. I would I would really like to meet you guys. I've never met a single follower of mine. Uh, and that would be really, really fun to do. Uh, but, you know, 2020. As soon as everything is settled down, I'm definitely doing a meet and greet. I really want to do one. It's been... I really want to do that. You should put Christmas music in the background when December starts. <laughs> you guys will get so sick of it so quickly. But maybe. Maybe. Thank you for getting me into this art. I've been doing it now for two years. Friendship braces have uh, saved my friendship with my best friend. Oh, that's so awesome! That's awesome! <laughs> I'm really glad I could help you with that. Alright, uh... I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> I made a mistake. Why did nobody tell me that I made a mistake? I will cry. I needed to make three black knots here and I only made one. Uh, how do I fix that? I do not want to untie this entire thing. I really don't want to untie this entire thing. How do I fix it? Do I just make his ear a little pointy? Do I just make another extra row for the ear? Potentially. Can I do that? Mm. Colour the knots in black. Yeah, just use a sharpie. No! <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Uh, oh, this is so annoying. Embroider the mistake later. Potentially. This is what happens when you pay too much attention to the chat. <laughs> not so much attention to the stream. <laughs> Oh, this happened to me, but I had to undo three full knots of my wall hanging. Oh no, three full rows. Oh, that's terrible. Pointy ears. I'm thinking, how would I do? Like, I'm thinking maybe, yeah, just having his ears be a little bit pointy. Um, but how would I do that? Just add... That doesn't even make sense, does it? Like, if I add another row after with, like, the black... What if I- I'm just- sorry, I'm just looking at the pattern and I'm trying to figure out what it would look like if I instead just did that. Oh, I'm so annoyed with myself right now. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what if I- no, that looks weird. Then his ear kind of looks misshapen. But I could do that. I could just um, get rid of... I don't know. 
I am very annoyed right now. What's the pattern number? 37822. Improvise. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> and, oh my god! She's brushing her teeth! I didn't know they did that! Is she brushing her teeth? She might be eating something. She's got a... I don't know what she's doing. What is she doing? I've never seen this in my life. I have no idea what's happening. Is she eating? Is she brushing her teeth? What is happening? <laughs> oh, this is so cute though. Oh my god. I, 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 I am very uh, frazzled right now. Very, very frazzled. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Let me open up the pattern on my uh, screen so I can actually show you guys where I made the mistake. But this is so annoying. <laughs> I very rarely make mistakes when I'm knotting, but usually I'm paying attention to what I'm doing, not like streaming, so. Yeah, it's all your guys' fault. <laughs> it's all your fault. Oh my god, let me find it. Mm. Here it is. So you can see at the top, I was supposed to do three white knots and then three black knots, and I didn't. Did the music just stop? Where did the music go? Oh no, I just can't hear it because I have my volume turned down. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> should I just embroider over it later? Should I just do that? I really don't want to untie the entire thing. I'm not doing that. That's going to take forever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just embroider over it, yeah. All the time you've been questioning what to do, you could have went back and fixed it. Definitely not. I, I, it takes a really long time to untie all of that. I know because I did it <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> I know because I did it earlier today. I had to untie uh, a row and a bit to insert some more strings that I forgot to do. No, Masha, you should untie it. <laughs> I don't like this. I hate when I do that I have to undo so many knots. Seriously, it looks super okay if you embroider those missing black knots onto the pattern afterwards. I've done it a million times, it looks normal. Yeah. Thing is, I have no idea how to embroider, but I will look that up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, right? It's fine. Or should I just fix it somehow? What if I cut off this bit of his ear? <laughs> Sounds so terrible. It's only two knots. That's so stupid. It's two knots, right? It's these two. One and two. These two knots. If I just cut that off and then make... His ear is going to be a little bit misshapen. It's fine. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. He's going to have a little bit of a misshapen ear, but we're going to love him nonetheless. I will not be untying that because it's going to take me like 30 minutes at least. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that, especially considering I had to do that already for the this bracelet. All right, it's, he's gonna have a bit of a misshape in the ear. It's fine, it's fine, you guys. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just trying to convince myself that it's fine. All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm continuing. I'm continuing. I'm continuing. I'm trying to convince myself that I'm continuing. Look at Iggy. Iggy is so cute. I don't know what this is happening. I've never seen her do that before. But that's really cute. <sighs> he needs a name. Do you guys have any name suggestions? We could give him a name. Or her. I don't know if this is a boy or a girl. Derek was a boy. We randomly decided that. <laughs> but uh, I have no idea if this little one is a boy or a girl. Ugh. <sighs> It's fine, right? It's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna continue. It's fine. He's gonna have a little bit of misshapen ear. We're gonna love him nonetheless. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are suggesting so many names. Uh, no, I'm not gonna be using a black marker. You guys are suggesting I use a Sharpie or a black marker to do that. I don't want to do that. No, that's just that's, that's just cheating. I don't want to do that. Oh my god. So many name suggestions. Mushu, I like Mushu. <laughs> sushi. Oh, I like sushi as well. Billy Bertha. Do you know what? I saw a TikTok the other day of someone saying that like pet names, whether that be a cat or a dog or whatever, should be either aggressively human, like Derek. I think Derek is very aggressively human. Or something like, uh, I don't know, Bob. 
uh, I don't know. Uh, or it should be something completely random, like Toaster. And I, I very much agree with that. I very much agree with that. Uh, David. <laughs> Echo, Sushi or Billy. Oh my god, Squishy. Cupcake Bubbles. Timmy. Alright, I'm gonna pick out like three different names and then you guys can vote. Can I add a vote here? Can I do that? I already have my mods here. I don't know if any mods are here. Because I, I don't know how to use Twitch. I think I can add a Q&A somehow. Not a Q&A. Um, I forget words. A poll. Oh my god. I can add a poll somehow, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let me choose some names. Let me look at these. Okay. 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 First, before we go for names. Is this a boy or a girl? Let's agree on that. It's a white cat. I have a boy white cat at home. His name is Barsik. But whatever. That's out of the question. Boy or a girl? Non-binary. <laughs> Could go with that, to be honest. Uh, Hi, I'm new to the stream. It's welcome. You've joined at a very weird time. We're asking whether or not the cat is a boy, girl, or non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, do you know what? I'm just gonna go with non-binary. I think that's really cute. Uh, did you- s oh my god, I keep uh, making TikTok references. I spent way too much time on TikTok. But do you guys know Ziggy, the intersex dog? So cute! <laughs> uh, how about Frost? It's a gender-neutral name. I like it, I like it. All right, so, okay. Suggest some gender neutral names. They can be either aggressively human or very random. I'm gonna pick out three and then we're gonna vote. <laughs> Karen, no. No, I'm not gonna curse my <laughs> bracelet child to be Karen. Milo, I like Milo. Fork. <laughs> oh my god, Echo, Toaster. Mushu. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Bertha. Fork. Echo or Mushu. Four names. Bertha, Fork, Echo, Mushu. Bertha, Fork, Echo, Mushu. Which one? You guys choose. Oh my god, I love this. This is so fun. <laughs> oh, I hate this song. I'm skipping it. I really don't like this one. Echo, Mushu, Fork, Bertha. Oh my god. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> alright, I'm seeing a lot of Fork and a lot of Mushu. So let's, let's stop for now, stop for now. Either Fork or Mushu. Echo and Bertha are out. Fork or Mushu? I wish I could add a pause. I know I can do it, I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> do a poll on Instagram. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Let's do a poll on Instagram. Because that way I can actually see. Because I can't tell very well. Gonna be fork or mushu. I'm gonna post it now, and you guys are gonna respond hopefully quickly. All right. Uh, poll. Fork. Mushu. Oh, mushy. No, not mushy. Mushu. Ew. I don't like mushy. <laughs> oh, the title of the thing isn't coming up. All right, whatever. I'm just getting rid of the title then. Fork or Mushu? I posted it. I did not add any context whatsoever to the Instagram story, so people not on the Twitch live stream are gonna have a very weird time. 
Oh wow, Mushu is winning really fast. But oh, Fork is catching up. Fork is catching up. You guys are quick on your votes. All right, I'm gonna give it like five minutes. It's 41 now. I'm gonna look back in. Oh wow, it's, it Mushu took over at the beginning, but now it's a very close race. <laughs> No, it's like 50-50 now. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna look back in five minutes. Would you rather take a piercing or a tattoo? Ooh, I'd like both to be honest at some point, but I have commitment issues, so I don't know. Uh, fork, please, it's so cute. Mushu, please, it better be Fork. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to delete the Instagram story because it's weird and out of context, but we'll check back. Alright, well, whoever this is, this uh, little non-binary kitty is going to have a very misshapen ear, but we're going to love them nonetheless. Wait, can we agree on that? Can we agree that we're going to love this beautiful kitty nonetheless? <laughs> it better be Fork or else, well, you guys are choosing, not me, so... <laughs> Not my choice! I don't know how to vote. Go on my Instagram story and just uh, tap. Uh, make a girl and a boy so one can be fork and one can be spoon and they can have a child called knife. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a very elaborate storyline. Maybe you could do that. I'm probably just gonna make one. Mm. We will love the kitty. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a non-binary kitty named Fork with a distorted ear. Well, might be Mushu, but yes. <laughs> I suggested Fork as a joke, but now I love it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like the most random names are really great. Please, Fork, it's not up to me. If you want to uh, take part in the decision, you should vote on my Instagram story. I'm going to check back in three minutes. Oh my god, my cat has a messed up ear too. Well, look at that, see? And you don't love him or her, nonetheless. Do you? Uh, less? Do you? You love them despite anything, or disregarding anything. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna pull on the edges a bit because I think they're going in and I don't like it. Quick question, how how come you use the multi-colorado? <laughs> multicolored? I don't know, I just felt like using a multicolored background string. I don't know, um... It's 50-50. Oh no, guys, go vote. <laughs> I don't want to be the uh, one to call this. I want you guys to decide. <laughs> it is 50-50. Thanks. Very helpful, guys. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, why do you use color string as a base instead of white? Oh, I don't know. I just felt like it as well. I have a lot of it. Like, it's a huge... Like, there's a ton of this. I probably have more of this than I have of white. So it's not a big deal. It's just easier to do that. Plus then the ties are going to be the multicolored string too. So it's fine. Whatever name loses, you should make another cat, another cat wall hanging and name it the other name. <laughs> maybe, maybe. You guys expect a bit too much of me. I don't make very so quickly. But maybe at some point in the future. I still haven't made a single Derek cousin. I was planning on making many, many dark cousins, but I never got around to doing that, so I need to do that. She's still doing that. What is this? Is she eating or is she brushing her teeth? I genuinely cannot tell. I think she's eating. Oh, and she stopped. Is this okay? Everything's fine. Also, she's supposed to be asleep by now, but I uh, changed the time because they go to sleep at um, 8 p.m. And I changed the time so she goes to sleep at 11 instead because it's annoying that she goes to sleep at 8 p.m. That's too early for me. I don't really like it. It better be Fork or I'm suing. <laughs> I have a cat named Echo and that's why I suggested it. Oh, that's so cute. Masha, you help me so much uh, with my stress and anxiety. Whenever I'm not feeling good, I watch your videos and I feel so much better. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. That makes me really happy to know, honestly. That makes me really, really happy to know. I'm glad I, my videos help you. 
And they help me, to be honest. Not the videos, the making braces part. I think this helps me with my anxiety as well. So I'm glad. I think she's brushing her teeth. I really don't know. I, I thought she was brushing her teeth at first, but then I thought she was eating because she has a... Uh, she had a... I forget words. Two languages in your brain? I don't know how people handle more than two. I forget words. A cup in her background. There we go. Okay, it's 46. I'm gonna check my Instagram story. People who have no idea what this is about are probably very confused. Alright, it's 92 for Mushu and 82 for Fork. Are we calling it now or are we giving it another couple of minutes? I kind of like Fork more, to be honest. <laughs> I'm a bit biased in this. <laughs> a little bit biased. Call it now. <laughs> no cheating. Alright, alright. I like Fork though. <laughs> Give it a <laughs> No cheating. Okay, 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 you guys, you guys voted. I'm not gonna cheat, I'm not gonna cheat. Uh, to be fair, he, Fork is uh, losing anyway. Um, it's now 100 for Mushu and 87 for Fork. So Fork is uh, even further away. It's settled. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 100 for Mushu and 87 for Fork. Alright, I'm gonna delete this now. <laughs> this is weirdly out of context for everyone else. <laughs> Alright, so this is Mushu. I do apologize for everyone who wanted Fork because I actually like that name as well. I was kind of hoping that I was gonna win. I'm sad. But this is Mushu. Fork can be the middle name. <laughs> if that many people voted, that means people who have no idea what it is also voted. Oh yeah, actually probably true. You're probably right. It's pro- you know what? That actually makes sense. Does anyone know how to do it? Oh my god. I'm so, okay, let's let's do a recount. Let's do <laughs> This is kind of cheating, but we're going to do another Okay, poll. Just create a poll. How do I create a poll? Uh create. I'm just going to create a poll so only you guys here can see. Cheetah, it's not cheating. It's not cheating because someone correctly pointed out <laughs> Someone correctly pointed out that uh, people who have no idea what we're talking about also voted. I will accept Mushu. I like it. I just prefer fork. fork. I will accept Mushu if uh, you guys vote on it again. And it only people who are actually watching the stream vote because, yeah, more people voted than were on the stream. So that actually is true. Uh, Alright, Mushu Fork. Allow multiple choices? No. Private only direct link? Yes. Create poll. Oh, someone just subscribed! Um, Azzy Morning subscribed with Prime. Uh, they subscribed for three months. Oh, thank you! Thank you for subscribing. Uh, and you guys can also subscribe with Prime if you want to. For free. If you connect your Prime account to your Twitch account through Twitch Prime, you can subscribe for free. And I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Alright, I'm sending a um, link now. There you go. I sent you a link in the uh, chat for a vote. <laughs> so vote for either Fork or Mushu. <laughs> I will accept. I promise. I will check back in exactly five minutes. It's currently 50. I'm giving it the same amount of time. Uh, I'm going to check back at 55 and I will check again. And if Mushu wins, I will accept it because I do like the name. I just prefer Fork. So whatever. I'm, I'm giving you guys the option to choose. <laughs> What series is your Tamagotchi? 4.5. That's the same one that I had as a kid. Alright, let me check back to my pattern because I actually don't know what I'm doing. Which is not a good thing, as we have discovered. It's not a good thing when I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, but I'm making four black knots now for this little misshapen ear. Vote Mushu! Folk for the win! Mushu! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I sh probably shouldn't have posted to my Instagram story because um, people watch my Instagram story more than they watch my Twitch streams. Um, so there were more people there 
that voted and if it's completely out of context then yeah I would see how why they would vote for Mushu and not Fork. Mushu is such a cute name. It is! It reminds me of um... I don't know what his name is now in uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. The little lemur thing. What is his name? In Avatar. I cannot remember- Momo! Thank you! Oh my god. <laughs> That's who it reminds me of for some reason. I, I could feel that it reminded me of that, but I couldn't remember the correct name for whatever reason. Yeah, Mushu reminds me of Momo. And also Mushy Monsters. Because I used to play that as a kid. Alright. I love how invested you guys are in this name choosing. You still got four minutes to vote. Uh, I'm gonna send the link in the chat once again for anybody who is just joining. This is the link to the um, vote if you want to take part in the vote in naming this cat, which is not even in existence yet. This cat has not been birthed yet via the strings. We are only making his ear <laughs> at the moment. Uh. Alright, where is my pink string? I had a pink string. Where did my pink string go? I had a pink string, right? Like, I'm not... Losing my mind, am I? I did add one. I did add one. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> I started questioning my own sanity. Oh, it came undone. That's why it's not properly there. All right, great. Love that for me. Uh, let's attach another one. Let's attach another one. We should have done sprinkles, like Angela's cat from the office. Oh, I actually just watched the episode with sprinkles, and it's so sad. White. I will not forgive him for this. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's have that here. I really don't like attaching new strings. It's always such a mess. Wait, why am I transferring this over? I don't need to transfer this over. I've got separate strings for the left and the right background. So this is not being transferred. That's staying on that side. And this one is coming in. Uh, and I need to make four knots of the pink. What about Fokushu? <laughs> oh no. Alright, uh... No, we're not doing that. That's terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hi Jake! Jake is here. Jake's my friend. Alright, I'm gonna add it once again. You've got one minute left. No, no, two minutes left to vote in the poll. I'm gonna send the poll again in the chat. Uh, for anyone who's just joining, or anyone who didn't listen before, I don't know, uh, we're picking out the name of the non-binary cat that we're currently knotting. <laughs> it's gonna be either Fork or Mushu. How did I make a mistake again? I made a mistake again, didn't I? One, two, three. Oh, no, I didn't actually. I didn't, I didn't yet. I just miscounted where I needed the um, pink to come in. So it's not a terrible mistake. It's not a terrible mistake. It's fine. It's fine. How about whichever name is the winner that's going to be the first name and then the other one is going to be the middle name? I agree with that. That is an acceptable compromise. Uh, hold on. Why do I make mistakes when I am streaming? I should pay more attention to my actual person. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, one minute guys. One minute. One minute. And there you go. Alright, we're getting into the misshapen ear now. I think I need to make four. Oh no! Stream died, stream died, stream died. It's back! I have no idea. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> It's back. Okay. Good to know it's back. Okay, back. Try refreshing it helps. Okay, okay. That was odd. I don't know what happened. I didn't do anything. Good to see that I'm back, though. <laughs> what did you say? I don't remember what I said. I think I said that I'm doing the misshapen or something. Alright, I need to check on the results now. No more voting. The results are in. And it's fork. <laughs> So my, my uh, assumption was correct. Well, not my assumption. Someone else put it in the chat that people were voting for Mushu that didn't know the context. 
Uh, but it makes sense because if I actually read the chat, there were more people voting for Fork uh, than there were for Mushu. But this guy's real name is Fork Mushu. How long have I been streaming? An hour and 15 minutes. Welcome. <laughs> we have decided that this uh, non-binary cat is named Fork Mushu. <laughs> Fork Mushu Nuts. Oh my god, Mushu Nuts. <laughs> Fork Mushu Nuts. There we go. A new addition to the family. I love that we uh, give names to our little nut babies. Alright, where's my pattern? Four. Four. I need four pink nuts. Please tell me if I am making a mistake in the knotting. I am paying more attention to the chat than to the actual bracelet. And if you accidentally, or however, see that I'm making a mistake, please tell me. <laughs> because I don't want to... I don't want to do that again. <laughs> that was a mess. Alright. The pink for the ear now goes in. His ear is going to be a little bit squished. This is a non-binary cat, but let's just agree that uh, this cat goes by all and any pronouns. So whatever pronouns you wish, wish to use is okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh... There we go. Did I do this right? I think I did this right. Yeah. <laughs> Fork Mushu! <laughs> I just finished this month's challenge! Awesome! I still haven't. <laughs> but good for you. I still haven't. How do you make such perfect braces? Well, thank you, first of all. Uh, but, uh, tons of practice. Tons of practice. You will get there. <laughs> With some practice, I promise. Oh, this came out. This string just came out and I don't like it. Why does everything have to come undone? Just get in there. Alright, so I've gotten uh, a separate string. There's a separate background string for the left part of the bracelet and a separate background string for the right part of the bracelet. I'm hoping that this helps keep the bracelet uh, neat and consistent. But we will actually, we will see if this works. But I hope it will. The first knot that I make whenever I insert a new string is always such a, such a mess every single time. It's just, oh my god. I'll read the chat in just a sec, I just need to focus on this. And it's all weird now. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh my, what did I do? Why did I, what, how did I, what? I made a knot. Not even on the wrong base string. I made it on the pink string. How did I mix that up? Wow, yeah. It's the pink string from the ear. <laughs> oh my god. Why do I always embarrass myself on streams? Oh man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I might as well just push this one out. Yeah, okay, whatever that works. Alright, the pink one is now going in there. Because that is where you deserve to be. You are going to be tightened back up. Then you are going and this string came in. Oh my god, this is a mess. <laughs> you are going over here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, um pink. No, base string. Alright, I'm getting another piece of tape because that piece of tape does not want to hold this down. And it's a mess. There we go. Alright, 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 let's hope this works. And I actually get this right this time. There we go. <laughs> I've never done that mistake before. I've never made a knot on another leading string before. That is weird. It's never happened to me. As many mistakes as I've made throughout my knotting life. 
never done that. <laughs> so enjoy. <laughs> enjoy that. Mashay should really pay attention to the bracelet. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. <laughs> I quite enjoy streaming when I'm nodding, but oh my god, I make so many mistakes. I definitely don't make this many mistakes when I'm just nodding, I promise. <laughs> What's the pattern? 37822. Did that? Did I do that correctly at least? I think I did. I think I did. There we go. There we go. All right, let me guys, let me read what you guys are saying. I made two bookmarks this, for this month's challenge. That's awesome. I need to look through you guys' submissions. I haven't seen them yet. Uh, I've been making a bunch of name keychains for my family and my alphas are doing way better now. That's awesome, see? Practice definitely, definitely helps. I mean, with anything really, but with bracelets, for sure. Practice is probably uh, the most important thing you can do in order to make your bracelets look nicer. Can you give us hints on the theme for next month's challenge? I mean, festive, probably. I haven't decided yet entirely, but probably it's going to be something festive. But I might... I might put a little bit of a spin on it. But that's the hint. Probably something festive with a bit of a spin. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably... Uh, I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but I'm probably going to be remaking that house alpha that I did last year. That didn't turn out really good. Um, I'm probably doing that... Just on my own, not for the challenge, but I'm just saying. Uh, I'm thinking of what else I should do. I saw another wall hanging that I could potentially do with the like Snoopy on the chimney. I don't know how many of you guys saw it, but you can see it in my uh, to-dos if you want. Mm. So yeah, I'm thinking of maybe doing that. Will you include pictures of your Discord on your monthly wrap-up video? Uh, I'm not sure. Potentially. Potentially, but I'm not sure. It's much easier to just take all the pictures from one place. Uh, but potentially, potentially. Uh, since you're not doing, and since not everyone celebrates Christmas, maybe you could do a festive challenge for whatever holiday people celebrate. Yeah, that was the idea originally. I don't even celebrate Christmas, so that was the idea, yes. Mm -hmm. Masha goes festive, yeah. <laughs> If you want a whole uh, story of why I don't celebrate Christmas, it's only because I'm Russian and Russian people don't celebrate the 25th. Most Russian people are Orthodox Christian, so they celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January. Uh, but I'm not even that. I'm just not... I just don't celebrate Christmas. But I do celebrate a New Year's, which in Russia is celebrated pretty much identical to how people celebrate Christmas. So I still get into like the Christmas spirit and everything and I still say Merry Christmas to everyone even though I don't actually celebrate Christmas the same way that you do <laughs> or at all I celebrate New Year's just very similarly <laughs> maybe a winter themed challenge yeah something something like that I already have an idea I'm not asking for suggestions but I'm just not saying I don't want to give everything away it's I mean it's gonna be like winter slash festive so you know that but uh... I'm not going to give away the details, the specifics. The only part of Christmas we do is the food and the gifts. <laughs> it's, well, yeah. But yeah, the way that Russian people uh, celebrate uh, New Year's is very, very similar to how people celebrate Christmas. Stefan keeps sending me pictures. I wonder what it is. I'm hoping it's pictures of a cat. I need to check it out. I need to check it out. I'm very impatient. I usually check my messages after the stream, but what if it's a picture of the cat? Then I can show you guys. Let's see. Is that a picture of the cat? No, it's not a picture of the cat. He's sending me some posts. I'll read them later. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. This is taking me so long. But to be fair, there's nearly 50 strings per row, so it makes sense why it's taking me so long. But nonetheless, it's taking me so long. I only made three rows in the one and a half hours that we've been here. Which is like one row per 30 minutes, which is not very fast. <laughs> Alright, um, all of this is going to be background. And then I'm going into black and then I'm going into pink. Alright. Alright. Yeah, my worry is going to probably come true uh, with the... 
strings like there's so much of this string left that's going to be yellow so the color change in the background is going to be very 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 slow and I don't know how I feel about that is that a good thing or is that not a good thing I really don't know I guess I'm just gonna go with it because I can sort of force the transition of color I can sort of just cut out the middle bit and reinsert the string uh, closer to where it's gonna be changing but I don't know I don't know uh, I can send you pics of my five cats if you want me to, even if you don't look at them. Oh, you should send them to um, my Discord server. On the Discord, there's a special channel for your guys' pets, so you should definitely send it through there. And also, join the Discord, it's really fun. <laughs> I love talking to you guys on there, and there's like multiple channels for everything. I added some channels uh, for Among Us, so you guys can play together if you want to, and not play with random people. Uh, I added a channel for Animal Crossing as well, because I play a lot of Animal Crossing, and I added a channel to do different trades and events with you guys hopefully at some point so if any of that sounds interesting to you or just like general bracelet chats then definitely join my discord uh... oh for some reason oh i'm gonna yeah someone sent the discord link thank you yes that is it thank you very much what is the deadline for the monthly challenge i don't have a specific deadline but i'm gonna be filming it at the end of the month so anytime before then I should add specific deadlines, but I don't have a specific deadline right now. Um, do your family support you being a bracelet maker? Yeah. Yeah, when I was a kid they didn't. They were like, oh, you're wasting time on this. Like, come on, you should be doing your homework or whatever. They let me do it when I didn't have homework, but whenever I did have homework, they would get really annoyed with me. But uh, now, yeah, my family love what I do. And they're very proud of me and I like that. They're very supportive. I just sent a pic of my cat to the Discord. Oh, awesome. I'm going to check it out at the stream after the stream. I wish I had pets. Same. Same. We might potentially get um my cat to come into the new flat. Are there any exciting things happening in your life? Yes, that's one of those. <laughs> one of those things is uh, moving. I'm really excited to move and I'm excited for hopefully my husband and my cat to come over soon, but I don't know when that will be. Will you ever consider selling? I've considered it um, I'm probably never gonna sell my bracelets. It's probably just not gonna happen. Uh, but I'm gonna sell merch at some point, probably. I'm still working on it. <laughs> I just got a hamster today. I'll try to send pictures to this god. Oh, that's awesome! Hamsters are great! I never had one growing up, but I really always wanted one. I always wanted one. I love chatting with you guys, honestly. This is so fun. I love streaming. I should stream more often. I learned how to move crystals with my energy. That sounds awesome. I keep seeing uh, videos on uh, TikTok as well of people controlling the uh, uh, smoke of like incense burners. And that looks awesome as well. Uh, oh my god, my hand hurts for some reason. I don't know why. It usually doesn't, like I not all the time, but for some reason right now my hands start hurting. It's like, eh. 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 I don't like it. So let me just get a drink of water. Mm. I keep looking, uh, like, if I... I like to fantasize about my life. Like, my future and stuff. Which probably a lot of you guys do as well. I spend an obscene amount of time looking at uh, different properties online to fantasize about a future house that I could potentially have. Uh, and today I spent my entire morning doing that, thanks to my patrons who put me on that train of thought again. <laughs> we had a chat in the morning in the patron chat, and um, we started discussing properties and uh, how much they cost and whatnot. And I ended up spending my entire morning on the phone with my husband talking about where we want to live in the future, and what kind of property we want to own potentially in the future, and whatever. Um, and... Um, yeah, I like to fantasize about that, and then I started thinking about, okay, well, what if I do own a home eventually at some point in my life, maybe, potentially, I don't know, uh, what would I like my life to look like? And I started thinking that, okay, I would like to have a cat, but I already have one, so that's settled, but I would also like to have a dog, and I don't want to buy a dog, uh, I want to adopt a dog, and I do not understand how that works in, uh, in, uh, 
the UK. Can someone from the UK explain how do I find a dog from like a dog shelter or something? Because all the ones that I looked at either had like two dogs available or none at all. And I'm very confused. I don't understand how dog shelters work here. Mm. I just got a Discord and joined the server. That's awesome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you find some new friends to talk to. <laughs> I've been having a good time. Uh, I love it when people say you can fix your alpha lines by using your nails and I have the biggest advantage because I have no nails. <laughs> oh no, don't use your nails. That that hurts. You can damage your nails as well and that's not a good idea. Use a ruler. I've started using a ruler and it's great. Have you looked on Dogs Trust? I haven't. I will. You can visit shelters or there's websites where you can find dogs that people can't look after anymore. I can't, like, I looked at probably five different websites. I mean, I'm not looking for a dog right now. This is me fantasizing about my future. <laughs> you know? But, um... Pet finder, okay. I'll pet, pets for homes. I'll check those out. I'll check those out. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm... Um, I don't have the opportunity to house a dog right now, but I really want one for the future. And I don't want to buy one, I want to adopt a dog. Plus, I don't want a puppy anyway. Puppies are a lot of work, and uh, I would rather just get a more adult-ish dog. Mm. Can you please look at the Discord Pets Show tab? Okay, let's do that now. Where is it? Pet show. Oh no, I clicked on memes accidentally. Pet show. All right, I'm gonna scroll all the way down so we can see the recent ones. Oh my god! Look at these! I hope you guys can see. Look at these! They're so cute! So cute! Fluffy dog, I'm watching the stream right now. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, this is Teddy. Oh, little kitty! Echo! Oh, they're so cute! I love the ears! Oh, there's some more kitties. Oh, I do not regret creating this channel whatsoever. This channel- oh my god, look at that. This channel was a great creation. I'm very happy. Oh my god. So cute, so cute, so cute. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. I found all of my cats on Pet Finder. Alright, alright. Thanks guys for the suggestion. I, I'm, I'm gonna look at it. I mean, I'm not in the position to adopt a dog right now, but I do want to fantasize about it, so I will look it up. <laughs> uh, I do not regret creating that channel whatsoever. That is an awesome uh, channel. But yeah, let me um, show you guys what the Discord actually looks like. So, um... Oh, can I not show you that without showing you all of my servers? I don't want to show you all of my servers. How do I, how do I, how do I? Okay, well, I don't have anything I can hide. I'm just going to use my finger. I don't want to show you all of my servers because that's a bit weird. But I've got um, the welcome, the rules, announcements, server suggestions, help, where you can get help, and then this stuff. But as for the chat, We've got the general chat, the self promo, memes, pet show. We've got bracelet chats, uh, bracelet help, bracelet showcase, channel progress. And then we've got Animal Crossing chats, uh, gaming chats with Among Us and other games. And then a couple of uh, voice chats as well where you can voice chat if you feel like it. So definitely join the Discord. It's a fun place to be. We can just chat. Alright, let me continue this. Okay, I'm going to step away from reading the chat for just a second because I need to figure out how I'm going to continue making this misshapen ear. Alright, I am one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, I need six knots here. Right? Yeah. Six, I think I did this correctly. Six. Here, I think so. Wait, there's the second row. Second row. Yeah, there's just one left. That's gonna be the white one, and then I'm gonna do two black ones. All right. Yeah. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna read the chat now. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Teddy and Echo and my pets. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for posting. The fluffy, uh, the white fluffy one is mine. That's awesome. Uh, what did you use to add the pictures uh, and chat to your stream? What do you mean? Oh, uh, I really want to stream too, but I can't figure out how to add that type of thing. Uh, I'm using Streamlabs. Streamlabs by OBS. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just add a bunch of different stuff onto it. Just uh, download Streamlabs OBS. It's free. Um, and um, just look up some tutorials for it. And you'll be fine. Good luck. <laughs> I love the Discord server. It's so fun to talk to people and share my bracelets on there. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I really am. That's awesome. I'm currently making the winter house brace that they made last winter, and I love it. That's great. I'm trying. I'm planning on remaking that one as well. Masha, you should produce music. Let's go make bracelets together. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, that reminded me of uh, how I met your mother on Robin. So let's go to the mall. <laughs> Hello, I'm back, and I'm nothing with you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Favorite pattern at the moment? Well, I really enjoyed this one. Uh. I don't know the pattern number for it. It's in my to-dos somewhere. Um, I also posted about it on Instagram and I added the pattern number there, but I'm not sure what pattern number it is. But that one definitely for the recent ones. I definitely really enjoy that one. That was really fun to do. I just got some glow in the dark thread. I'm trying to figure out how to use it. Ooh. I mean, if you have time, you could use it for the challenge. Something like the space bracelets. I think glow in the dark and space works really well, so potentially that. If not, maybe um, if you're doing like a Christmas one, you could do like a Christmas tree and you'd glow in the dark for the ornaments. I think that would be cool, kind of cool. I'm doing the wrong color, aren't I? I'm doing the wrong color. I needed white here and not black. I need white. Oh my god, multiple strings is such a mess. What did I, what did I just do? Okay, no, you go in the back, and you come out to the front. There we go, oh my god. <laughs> I am Masha and I stream, I make some, <laughs> make some braces now. Okay, no, I'm not, oh my god! Wrong bass string, I'm not gonna do that now. I'm not gonna do that. Wrong bass string, how did I, why do I keep making mistakes in this stream? There we go. I'm probably gonna go soon, you guys. My hand is kind of hurting. I don't know why. It doesn't usually do that, but for some reason it's like hurting me a lot. So I'm gonna take a break from knotting because I don't want it to hurt that much. So I'm probably gonna finish this row and then I'm gonna go. Um, I love your YouTube videos so much. I started learning how to make friendship bracelets at the beginning of quarantine in March, and I learned from your videos. That's awesome! And uh, welcome. I mean, March was a while ago, but nonetheless, welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you like my videos. The moon phases would look awesome with glow in the dark thread. Yes. Oh, also someone redeemed another highlighted message. Hi, Wash. I love you. You're my idol. Thank you. <laughs> That's so strange to me, but thank you. I'm glad you like my stuff. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. That string looks really weird. It kind of put itself on the camera. Oh, well. I'm just gonna have to deal with it for a bit. Until I grab the black one. I hate changing colors. Oh my god. It's such a mess. Always. Can we do a raid when you're finished? Sure we can. Do you have anyone you want to raid? <laughs> uh, oh my... Okay. Is there anyone you have in mind? I'm thinking of either raiding, if we do want to do a raid, either raiding someone who's also crafting or someone who's playing Animal Crossing. Those are the two things that I would want to raid. The two people. Two types of people. So if you have anyone who doesn't have that many viewers who would uh, love to have... To love, I can't speak! Oh my god! If someone <laughs> wants to suggest someone to raid, that would be nice. What about playing Among Us? I don't think... Among Us, they won't... I don't know, I don't feel like raiding someone who's playing Among Us. I want to raid someone who's either crafting or um, playing Animal Crossing, because those are kind of chill games, you know? I'm making friendship bracelets is a chill vibe. Those are chill vibes. Animal uh, from <laughs> Among Us is not a chill vibe. <laughs> Among Us is a very different vibe. 
we should play Among Us. We might at some point, but not today. Not today. Today we're just chilling and nothing. What is a raid? A raid is at the end of the stream. I'm gonna be finishing streaming soon. Did I just make a mistake again? I did. I did. I did. And nobody told me. Not a single one of you told me, did you? I made a mistake again and nobody told me. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. You probably didn't even see because of a bit of a lag. Anyway, um, a raid is when someone finishes a stream and then transfers their viewers to someone else. So, you guys don't have to click away or anything, you just get transferred to a different streamer. And then after that, you can either stay, if you feel like it, and you enjoy it, or you can leave, it's no commitment. Uh, but it's just a fun thing to do. Uh, so if someone is streaming and then they randomly get raided by someone else and you guys come in screaming and shouting saying like Ah! Raided by Martial Arts fans or whatever! Um, and it's just it's a fun thing to do. It's a fun thing to do. Oh my god. Why do I keep making mistakes in this bracelet? I needed to make two knots of black and I instead made one and that was not good. That's not good. But at least I notice it now, oh my god. Imagine if I had done that. And then we lost us at the end of the row. That wouldn't have been fun. Did I do this correctly now? Yes, two, two, yes. It's a bit misshapen, his ear, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Masha, can you renegade? No. <laughs> no. No, we're not doing that. Uh. Alright, you, you guys are suggesting, oh my god, suggesting some people on Twitch to raid? <sighs> yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I was reading the chat. Um, they, they have a thousand viewers, yeah, they're probably not going to notice, there's not that many of us. We want to raid someone who doesn't have that many viewers, so that they can actually notice when we raid them. Um, because we want to make someone happy, and someone who has a lot of viewers probably won't even notice. <laughs> so if you guys have suggestions, leave them. Please. Alright, uh... yeah, I'm probably just going to finish this row and then I'm going to go, because honestly my, my hand keeps hurting and I don't know why. Probably not a, the best nodding position. This isn't very comfortable. <laughs> what happened to your other channel? I haven't posted on it for a while. Um, nothing happened to it. I just haven't posted on it for a while. <laughs> I'm going to at some point. <laughs> Can we just appreciate that you have only nodded four rows in the past two hours? Oh, it's not been two hours. It's one hour and 40 minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, usually this kind of row takes me like 10 minutes to do. Um, it is pretty big, so it takes like 10 minutes to do, but because I was reading the chat a lot and I also made a bunch of mistakes, uh, it take, took me longer, this stream. What time is it in London? It's 10.24pm, which is also a good time for me to dip out. <laughs> DK Watson only has 15 viewers, what are they doing? So if you're leaving a suggestion for someone to read, which you should, because I'm going to be reading someone really soon um let me know their username what they're doing and how many viewers they have at the moment so if you wanna if you wanna you can do that <laughs> it's 5 p.m in florida well you are five hours behind me time zones are weird i do not understand them but they exist i mean i do understand them but i think still think they're really weird because a lot of time zones just don't make sense whatsoever <laughs> oh, I made a mistake again. I made a mistake again. There we go. There we go. <laughs> DK Watson is making little lanterns. Oh, that's awesome. Masha, stop making so many mistakes. I know. I'm, 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 I promise I won't. <laughs> I won't make any more mistakes, hopefully. I mean, if I'm going to be off camera, I'm not going to make any more mistakes because I'm actually going to pay attention to my brace instead of reading the chat. I'm barely even looking at it. I'm just staring at the chat. <laughs> oh, 
cross-stitch band is cross-stitching with 24 viewers. Oh, maybe we can read someone who's cross-stitching. That's a good idea. Should we read someone who's cross-stitching? I think that's a good idea, because I actually plan on doing some cross-stitch later on as well, so that just kind of seems relevant. I don't know. I caught a mistake on my wall hanging at the same, uh, the same time you did. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you caught it. <laughs> I mean, sad that you made a mistake, but awesome that you caught it. That's what I mean. <laughs> glad you caught it. There we go. There we go. I always watch DK Watson and he usually uh, has only seven. Okay, so the DK Watson or Stitch Bound? Are we doing cross stitch or little lanterns? What do you guys think? Who are we gonna raid? Cross stitch or little lanterns? I don't mind. So, whatever you guys want. Hi Masha, hi! Sorry you guys are joining uh, when I'm finishing, but hi! <coughs> yeah, I'm just about to finish. Because my hand is hurting. I've also been live for about two hours now, so... Well, thanks! You guys are really helpful! Three for cross-stitch, three for lanterns! <laughs> Very helpful, just like you were with the other thing. <laughs> cross-stitch, I want to get back into it, maybe it will give me some motivation. All right, I'm probably gonna go with cross stitch, um, cause I just want to do that myself. So maybe I'll stick around and watch the stream for a bit as well. We're very indecisive, yeah, exactly. All right, I'm gonna send it through now. Thank you guys for coming to the stream today. I had a great time. Uh, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. So if you uh, want to watch a part that you weren't here for, you can do that. Um, all right, let me type this out. Raid this person. Oh this person all right yeah thank you for coming to the stream i had a great time i know we only did um a couple of rows we only did four rows but we named this little guy fork mushu we decided that this is a non-binary cat oh feed Iggy, Iggy a snack i'm gonna do that one last time before <laughs> i click off the stream uh let's give her this i don't know what that is but there you go <laughs> Thank you for making Iggy very happy. I made a lot of progress on the stream. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for coming. So for any of you who don't know what a raid is, we're going to be raiding someone, which means that I'm going to click off. I'm going to go offline, but you guys are going to continue watching someone else uh, who's going to be cross-stitching. Um, when you get there, just let, let them know that, you know, hi, <laughs> we're raiding you. Uh, they're probably gonna ask you guys where you came from, so you can, you know, talk a bit about that if you feel like it. Uh, and then you can stay, you can... Uh, leave whatever who's the person that we're reading i'm gonna transfer you don't worry i'll do that myself um so yeah thank you for coming and uh, bye enter <laughs> we're reading them uh all right bye guys Hi! I hope y'all are well. Let me go say hello to all of you who just joined. Let's see. We have Baguette and Dania, Coco Cat. So many friends. Hi! Masha, thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate it. What were you working on? Like Knots and Crosses. Love your name. Sadie, Gryffindor Goral, Musk and Jay. Thank you for these follows. Hi. I love that you're making it so beautiful. Thank Sorry if I'm missing y'all in chat. <laughs> I am. Holy hell. Is this, is this getting us to 300 followers? <laughs> Hello? Uh, Lemon Girl and Rebecca Deli Shark. So many people. Hi. Thank you so much for these follows. I appreciate it. 
She was working on a bracelet. Ooh, I hope your bracelet turned out really well. I'm going to have to check out your VOD. The friendship bracelet community love that. I loved making friendship bracelets as a kid. Definitely want to get back into it. Holy hell. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hi. <laughs> I feel like the bot is still catching up. We're, we're thriving. <laughs> I'm going to have to check y'all out. Caleb, Aid, I have definitely missed people. At least for five minutes, either it happens. You know, it do be like that. Well, hi! For those of you who are just coming in, my name is Shan. I mostly cross-stitch here. This is this lovely pattern from the Etsy shop. Don't cross a bitch, I want to say. Exclamation point pattern in chat. It is so beautiful. I adore Animal Crossing. Katrina is one of my favorite characters. I will shout all of these follows out in a little while. <laughs> But thank you so much for stopping by. If you, obviously friendship bracelets, you definitely get the makers and crafting vibe. That is definitely what we're down for here. But we're nice and cozy and chill. And if that sounds like your vibe, stay for a little while. We are just working on this today. Thank y'all so, so much <laughs> for all these follows and for three, for 300. Holy hell. I appreciate y'all so, so much.